What's up guys? We are at Formula Drift, round five, St. Louis. Pretty typical intro there, come on. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, Welcome what, back do, to what do you channel. expect? Welcome back, everybody. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, Formula Drift, round five. So Nate and I just finished a little bit of a track walk and we're checking out the K-Rails and they have all of Outer Zone 1 K-Rail and there's no pins in them. It's like this style K-Rail, the ramp up type, which are literally designed to make cars flip. You've seen it happen in other events. So these are unpinned K-Rails with the ramp, all of Outer Zone 1. No pin. Oh, sick. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, good. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> Can't even make this up. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> what is happening here? This is going to be impressive. This guy's going to be dropping these K rails all day. Dog. This is. These, these are gonna these are gonna be like over there that's, that's I, I don't understand because because now we're narrowing it up so much like you have to you basically have to reduce the angle yeah and you're gonna increase your speed but then you're also increasing your braking distance here so you're gonna have much more of a slow up to get in a you're not gonna be able to have as much style getting into outer two I'm really concerned about this as well though well this, this is a whole nother animal yeah. but what I'm talking about is just these are going to move, well, and they're not pinned. Well, think about it, too. Say the lead car punches it, yeah. and that hits it for the chase car. I think that's pretty dangerous. It's super dangerous. That's really dangerous, man. Prospect goes out first. We're going to go watch and see how this shakes out. Nate, what are your thoughts on it? Gnarly, dude. I mean, it seems like a big surprise to everybody, right? So can't really be too upset at Formula Drift. I think it's just the tracks implementing X, Y, and Z, and you guys got to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, so... Big surprise to even Formula Drift, we found out that wall was gonna be put in yesterday. And so they've been going back and forth and trying to figure out the best way around it. it sounds like the track won't budge because of grass damage. FD was trying to get, you know, pins. The K rails are not able to be pinned. You know, it's like easy for people to be like, oh, well, if it's not safe, then don't drive on it. The problem is there's always gonna be a driver that's willing to go out on the track. So this is where, you know, unifying the drivers could actually make a difference and be able to make good decisions to put on the best show possible and keep the drivers safe but here we are we can't get uh three people to agree on what to have for lunch let alone uh how to set up a course <laughs>
field trip. We gotta go get Jackson. Jackson. You left him out for how long so far? I know, yeah, sorry bud. I thought we were going out on track like now, but we have another 30 freaking minutes well, on top of that, so 45. Dude, oh should've God. done the reaction video when I told you had another 30. I know, yeah. It was like this, what? <laughs> 30? <laughs> I'm hungry! Dude, <laughs> seriously, right? <laughs> I totally forgot we weren't parked there. I did too. I, I came out, I'm like, they left. <laughs> I was all bummed. But yeah, we parked over on the far side. All right, let's go. So this is an interesting one. Uh, Jackson just dropped me off. I'm walking up to pick up a rental car. Uh, it's Friday, basically the beginning of Friday, which is our off day at the track. So I set up a rental because I need to go from St. Louis to Indianapolis to fly to Toronto to do a NOS uh, appearance up at the Toronto Grand Prix. I need to be there like 10 a.m. So the race goes to like midnight tomorrow and the flight from Indy is at 6 a.m. So basically gonna finish the race and drive through the night to get to the airport to go to Toronto. So let's go get this rig. We're live! <laughs> from the top of the tower! <laughs> What are you doing? Coming in live, we're watching ProStrike. We got a couple of cars, cars going out here. They're running, they're jumping, they're knocking K-Rails down, but it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Cue the tape. Where's your microphone? <laughs> it's right here, Camden. Big cam, camshaft, McGillie Cuddy. Rip it on down here, gonna watch some runs. Terrible. <laughs> so my ears hurt so bad. Dude. Tell them to put turbos on their cars, dude. Dude, if it's too loud, you're too old or something like that, right? Yeah. Where are my earplugs? <laughs> <laughs> the color is Nate, check yeah, it out. Dude. You gotta step up your game. You, you have, have 17, 17. You have, you have zero t-shirts with Clydesdales on them, bro. Come yeah, on. that is, that is fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom's stoked right Dude, now. I seriously come walking by and I'm like, like, whose merch booth is this? I'm like, worldwide, it's like Speedway, like, who's looking at that? And it's these two dudes in the rack. <laughs> that one's pretty fire. Yeah. It's America, dude. That one's pretty fire. That's what you need. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nobody will question you anymore. It's you and that. Nice. nice. Uh, nothing? Nothing? <laughs> All right. Let's go back to work. Brother man, look at these hot rods. Dude. Dude, I'm really into this. Yeah. So, yeah, park shop. Did us a solid, especially Tommy. Tommy went out of his way to get us these new toe arms. Because the old ones that we're running, so you can see the difference, right? These are steel, very thick, very heavy, but also they're very strong. So these guys are aluminum, so they're a lot lighter, and they're also a little thinner, right? So that our failure point should be here, versus in the subframe. We've actually bent the subframe a couple times, like a good wall hit. Yesterday, we actually, when we tagged the wall, where'd that piece go? When we tagged the wall yesterday, the failure point was actually in the, in the fork. So, that was actually nice, the subframe was okay. But then when we are talking with Tommy over at Park Shop Max, he was like, I have these other arms that we can utilize. They're gonna be lighter, and like I said, give us that little point where the arm can actually, actually bend instead of just pushing the horse through the subframe. So we've actually bent the bolts in the subframe, twisted, twisted this bit all up. So I think it's gonna be an improvement. Man, we're just blowing knuckles left and right around here. <laughs> Dude, we have so many knuckles in this trailer right now. We have the ones we took off in Jersey. We have the ones on the car. We just got two more sets. We already had two sets of PBM ones. There's like yeah. 10 pairs of knuckles in this trailer right now. Yeah. 
Uh, and there's front ones. So, it's a lot of knuckles. Going through, checking over things, matching spares, matching our arms. So if we do have to do like a full subframe swap, it's actually faster to swap the subframe the way we have the car set up than it is to try and swap like one knuckle, right? So we've, we've tried swapping one knuckle. It actually happened here like three years ago. Uh, Vaughn hit us, broke our rear knuckle. We're trying to swap it to do it in five minutes. is like a lot. It's a lot of bolts, right? The calipers and everything, right? So to pull the whole subframe with the quick disconnects on the brakes and then you know, knock the drive shaft off, it's, yeah, it's literally uh, uh, 10 bolts, right? 10 bolts pull that whole subframe into the car versus there's almost more than that just on the caliper alone. You know, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So just as many bolts pull just knuckle on and the whole subframe with drive shaft and the shock. Uh, but the problem is, it's really difficult to have more than one person in the wheel well. So those 10 bolts divided by three people, one under on the drive shaft, one in each wheel well, knock it out. What are you doing? Cam. What are you doing? I'm gonna <laughs> hand out koozies and sign stuff. Nice, give me one of those later, but have something uh, yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, steal a light, dude. What are you doing? Steal lights again, ready to rip. I stole that from him. Uh, let's, go <laughs> see, come up with that. let's go see what these guys are doing. Why are you on the counter? Uh, much easier. My forearms are nearly as strong as my entire body, so. Yeah, your forearm there and it, it looks good, huh? Yeah, it's a little oh! something. Give me this thing. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take them to go see Chris signing. <laughs> I hope you didn't get that. Cam, the pro filmer. His lens is dirty, dude. There we go. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Thank you, Cam. All right, so we're gonna bring you guys over to Chris, his autograph signing. See if I can get you guys some views uh, and show you guys how many people line up Friday night to get an autograph from their favorite driver. So there's uh, people all the way from the stadium side, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through to the drivers. And here's where basically got a full lineup of all the drivers. I think they got Pro Spec and Pro all doing one big drivers meeting. So. Uh, pretty cool to see. Yeah, oh, look at that. that dude. Is this a new car? It's the mama gift, the dude. Old car. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Uh, look at those. That's awesome. Wow. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are cool. I like you got all different colors going on, too. Lone, so do you. Lone soldiers out here, brother. Right there, Running down no to the left. bitter end. Yeah. Yeah. Only if you left. <laughs> Knocking it out. It's, uh, yeah, we're about 30 minutes past due. <laughs> All right, dog, you ready to call it? Yeah, I'm ready to go, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, went, went all the way. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Grab one of those? Yep. Cool, man. Thank you. Oh, you good? Right there. There you are, sir. My oh, man, last man in line. <laughs> Thanks, dude. All right. We're out. All right. Working, working, working. All right, Get some fresh NGK plugs on this bad boy. We're gonna go fast today. You know what NGK stands for? I'm not gonna care. That's how Chris is gonna drive. Starting the morning off with some laptops. Chris checks in on, I think, his business, of course. But then from there, the boys prepped the car. So they did tow. They checked all of their BC Racing shocks. They basically make sure that all the settings that we adjusted yesterday in the chaos of practice are the same. Meaning, you know, you just really triple check yourself. So we checked shocks. We got fresh nitrous bottles. We got tire pressure set, alignments done, and uh, yeah, now we're taking some business calls. Chris is on a call, and we're just checking in on some laptop stuff, checking on the shirts. You know the drill. Oh, uh, we got we got LZ's guys pulling the sneak attack back here, <laughs> trying to get to the front of the line. 
Make sure no one sneaks out. No, no, they are, yeah. <laughs> We got, we got five minutes still. Everybody's antsy. You got, you got LZ. Uh, he's back here, like ready to jump. Oh my god! <laughs> we got Cam on the road. So he's looking both ways to see if anyone's coming. Oh my god! There's still five minutes. Four minutes now. I know it's such a hustle. All to get that one extra lap. Yeah, three but minutes and thirty seconds. Next to difference. Oh yeah. Three no. minutes thirty seconds. Count down. I know. Count that's, down. that's the move. You gotta that's get the, the seconds go. Seconds. That's what I do for my friends. Everybody's getting queued up. Go, go, go! morning practice session about to start so yeah Alex give me a nice ride out so thanks Matt for the truck uh, Jackson said we were third in line in the chase chasing Rome so yeah let's get this party started <laughs> Robert Thorne, a player of Porsche, all that, and now here he is um, having a blast at Drifty, but he would love to get this victory here, but obviously Forsberg wants to get it just as bad, if not even more. So here we go into the second outside zone. Goes Chris Forsberg to 64. Robert Thorne surges the attack. We talked about how loose his car is, and then just grips out of the hole, out of the pocket when he transitions. Now in the outside zone, four. And it looks like a flirt with the edge of the track. It looked like that back right definitely was off. But uh, we're going to need to take a look at that different angle. Stay on the line longer than that. That would be considered a strike. Right, here we go, Robert Thorne now out front. Chris Forsberg in that chase position, now transitioning in. Good job by Robert Thorne. Chris Forsberg giving him a, a little bit of room there. Now in the transition to outside zone two. Robert Thorne looking a lot more settled. I talked about kind of the corrections and feeding the wheel. But uh, now here we go in the outside zone four. Big snappy transition by Thorne. Wow, he almost rotated there. And Forsberg gave a little bit of distance, but Thorne pulled that off. Holy cow. It's a little scattering there. All right, slide him left for Forsberg, right for Robert Thorne. It looks like Chris Forsberg gets one vote oh, one more time, and Forsberg does win. Freddie, what do you think those two are talking about over there? Chicks. Chicks? Chicks. I, I don't know. They're both getting pretty old to be talking about girls. See those moms? They have a deep, deep down uh, edge. It's there, somewhere. <laughs> don't think they. <laughs> don't think they have an edge. You ready? Yeah, you're on. All right, so moving on top 16. Heading back now for halftime. Shout out to Hansel and the Lean team. Got those dope enamel pins, dropping those. Look at the stats here. Matt Field is what? I would. I am wildly surprised by that, right? Like, do you hear how high pitched my voice went? Yeah. yeah. Five to one. Field has beat Chris Forsberg. Well, here we go. Chris would love to uh, reverse that role here. Forsberg initiates into the outside zone. He taps the wall. Comes a little out of angle. Now coming in outside zone two. Matt Field, watch. He's going to apply the pressure. He knows who he's going against. 
Everybody's going to have a blast out at Grid Life. And uh, I think we're going to see them out there next weekend. But look at this transition now into that last outside zone. Forsberg puts it in. A little bit of hope. Matt, uh, the beast with the bay. Here he goes out front. That board exhaust. Corvette initiates into good, smooth angle there in that first outside zone. A lot more fluid and consistent and smooth in that lead position for Matt Field. Now coming to that third outside zone. Really almost dragging bumper. Well done by Matt Field now in that last outside zone. How's he going to manage? Big angle. Looks like Forsberg trying to get in maybe some contact there. But uh, again, two very different style lead runs from Forsberg and Matt Field. Well, here we are waiting for the outcome. Slide him left for Chris the Force Forsberg, right for Matt Field. Again, currently sitting eighth. Matt Field advances. Chris Forsberg knocked out. So just like that. Look at well, I guess it goes without saying that I am far from stoked on how tonight went. We felt really good in the car. The car was hooked up and Matt was one of the fastest drivers out there and we were able to keep up with him and give him a little nudge through the finish line, you know, on the lead. You know, my guys are telling me like, make sure to, you know, drive smooth, but drive aggressive. The judges are rewarding aggression. You know, like I saw a lot of guys out there just like bumping and being sloppy and still getting the win, right? So we've been noticing that constantly in some of the battles this year is that you know the smooth consistent and kind of keeping a little bit of a gap and playing it safe being close but not pushing around is not being rewarded as much as bullying right for lack of better words it's really getting in there and pushing some doors in which is cool but it's usually a little more sloppy but it's exciting so i don't know i don't know how i feel about it but i thought that we were kind of hitting those marks banged off the wall you know gathered the car back up barely lost angles snapped back over i mean you guys let me know what you think but pretty sure i got robbed on that one the only thing i can think of is when i got the car back uh, off of outer zone one in my lead is that when I transferred out of there, they could say that it wasn't as early as they would like, but I was still snapped over and at angle and filled all of outside zone two. So in my opinion, it wasn't enough for Matt Field's huge mistake in the chase on a completely other end of the track in outer zone four. So it's not like anything that I did in outer zone one or two or going into two affected him. So, uh, but my nice clean run through outer zone four and his big straight missed the whole zone Tell me. So, anyway, that's it. Former Drift St. Louis. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say to that. Thanks for watching. So, this says three hours and 13 minutes to get to Indianapolis. <clears throat> 4.32 arrival. Turks flights at 5.40. Mine's at 6. So. Time to hit the freaking road. Turk, let's go. Turk, I got a little worried, yeah. but we're gonna <laughs> bring it back, you buddy. Put the camera down. No, I'm, I'm going the long way. I'm going all the way up. <laughs> so long story short, we didn't know that we lost an hour and we made up some time and we're gonna make this flight. Let's make this flight. here in Toronto, Canada, which is pretty awesome. I haven't been up here in many, many years. We used to come up here for some demos and some judging and uh, other events back in the day with the uh, DMCC. And it's it's really cool. We got the race car out here, the demo car, and we're watching the new car. We got nice tickets to the suites. Thank you, Nos. And so we're just gonna hang out, enjoy the day, do some meet and greets, you know, shake some hands, make some smiles, and uh, you know, just have a good time out here watching the race. It's gonna suck. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>